We all know that the Honda Civic has a hybrid. We have seen the sedan. This is the first time we are getting a crack at the hatchback. So here are five things that you need to know about this snappy hatch that has electricity now running through its veins. Number one, the hybrid powertrain. With a two liter direct injection engine and a dual motor setup, you're not gonna get more horsepower than the standard gas powered variant, but your torque number increases. That extra grunt gets you accelerating quicker. Yeah, when you put your foot into it, you really do get up to speed quickly. It has nice acceleration. So what that is going to be able to help you do is to maneuver a little bit. If you are in a little bit of traffic, need to get out of something. If you are maybe getting onto the highway or if like I'm doing just now, you wanna get ahead of someone who you think you might have to pass a little later on. This engine is new, so it sees improvements. It hits peak torque earlier than previously at 4,000 RPM, which makes for more available power earlier. Minus, of course, the six-speed manual transmission, this thing could be compared to the Civic Si, which doesn't come as an automatic. You get the same spirited driving, though with the CVT, which does mimic gear shifts effectively, but your center of gravity is lower, and that torque number gives you the feeling of added quickness. All together, this is a very successful combination. As you may know, with an EV or a hybrid, you will get regenerative braking settings. You have four on the Civic Hybrid. How different are they? I'm at a two right now. I'm gonna go to full. You guys, this is not exactly one pedal driving, but you definitely do feel a difference when you engage it. And if I go to the one setting, you know, I mean, it's pretty similar to just like a regular car, but you do feel some rolling resistance. Um, I think they're spaced out enough. They're dif they differentiate themselves enough that it can make a difference. So pick the setting that is appropriate for you. I personally find it quite fun driving with regenerative braking on, but you know, it may not be for everybody. Although it's good to note that at highway speeds, you do not have regen powers. So you have to reset once you slow down. I would prefer that your selection would be full-time. Three, you also get four drive modes. Now, only available in the Sport Hybrid and the Sport Touring Hybrid. One of them now is an individual mode and you can set things like throttle response, steering, you can set those all to what you want. Otherwise, you are going to get Sport, you are going to get Normal and Eco. There are slight changes, but nothing earth shattering. Econ mode doesn't feel super sluggish and sport offers up some extra zip. It's enough to satisfy someone who's really purchasing this car for efficiency's sake to be sure. Number four, there have been some adjustments made in the stiffness of the body. So you get a little bit more torsional rigidity here. They also have adjusted the springs and the dampers to accommodate for that. So your ride is going to be a little bit sportier, a little bit sort of more performance minded. I'm not 100% sure that the changes that they've made will be super noticeable to the average driver. However, um, I think this drives just great. Uh, definitely has a sporty bent to it and Five, you'll get some small upgrades to the front fascia, and there's new tech with Google built in now available in addition to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There are USB-C charge ports up front, and the standard safety features in Honda Sense get upgrades too. Starting price on the Sport Hybrid, which is the lowest trim that you can get, is $31,045. On the Sport Touring Hybrid, you're looking at $34,045. Now again, the Hybrid is only available on those two top trims. Now it's interesting though that Honda is of the mind that 40% of their Civic sales going forward are going to be on this hybrid model. So I'm not sure about that, but it's a very interesting prospect and proposition. If you are in the market for either one of those, click on the link above. Kelly Blue Book can help you find a fair purchase price on both of them. Mileage ranges don't look as good as the Toyota Prius, which gets 52 in the city and highway. Incidentally, the Prius did just set a Guinness World Record for gas mileage. I mean, it literally made it across the United States, hypermiling 
getting in the low 90s of MPG. I personally would not want to be stuck behind that person. The Honda Civic's numbers are not that different. So if you are a Honda loyalist, you don't really have anything to worry about. We all know that Honda Civics are solid cars, whether sedan or hatch variety. The fact that you can get the Honda Civic as either a sedan or a hatchback only adds to the cachet of this model. So the chances are very likely if you are in the market for one of these vehicles, this one is already on your list, 100%, keep it on there. Likely you're not gonna be disappointed. <laughs>